Oh right, what's going on everyone? Today I just wanted to make a quick video saying that we got new pre-cons, new starter decks on Magic Arena. Everybody gets them. You can currently collect them in your inbox here. I believe these are going to be part of the, oh it says right here, uh, the new player experience, which is very exciting. I want to talk a bit about this, but I definitely claim these decks, they have tons of cards oh my god they, there's like five to six rares per deck there's 10 decks i believe so you get tons of cards and remember that these cards are foundation cards i think they're 100 foundation set decks so all the cards are going to be legal for the next five years now there is a bit of weirdness with these decks first off they did a very very good thing which is it seems like you oh they're, they're the deck it, it's glitchy right now um, oh, I, I, just really quick, I do want to say, um, these are meant to be, they're calling them preview decks. Currently, there is a midweek magic event with these decks. All right, here, here's all the decks. And I believe they're going to use this event, as they always have in the past, to balance them. So this is like a first iteration that we're all getting. They're going to use the data from this event to see how balanced they are. Then they're going to adjust them and release them as official decks, which is going to be awkward for me because I want to do upgrade guides, but that means there's going to be two versions of the decks. I, I, it's, a, it's a bit weird. So in the past, the way these decks have worked is if you had, um, let's say you had two copies of this card, Curator of Destinies, it's a rare. So if you already had two of these when the deck released, it wouldn't give you a third one. It would just use your card and insert it into the deck. Basically, the way it worked is it would add the deck to your account and then it would hit the craft all button for free, right? So if, if you already had the card, it would just add it. And then any card you were missing, it would craft those for free for you, basically. What they're doing with this, it seems like, is if you already have two copies of a card, it's actually giving you the third copy. So that is awesome. Super cool. Very much like that. Now, something you might have noticed when I was in my decks is why are they all down here and they're missing cards? That's weird. So it seems like what's happened, um, the way the game works, is if you have four copies of a card when you open packs, it will not give you a fifth copy, even if it's from a previous set. A perfect example of this for me uh, is Fabled Passage, right? I have four of these, but I have gotten... Uh, go away. Uh, I have gotten zero from Bloomborough and the reason I have zero Bloomborough copies is I already had uh, four copies and this was a problem before right if you had four of these and then this set released uh, which order was it I don't remember but if, if you had four of these it would actually start opening a fifth and sixth and seventh copy which really sucked so now if you have four copies even from a previous set you won't open it in the new set and I'm not sure if it starts opening them after you have completed the set like if you have every other card i don't know if it starts giving you gems first or if it fills this out first and then starts giving you gems not sure how that works but the point is it seems like whatever uh system however this is tracked it did it for these decks as well so like phyrexian arena for example the reason it's not uh, here is because oh i gotta type more i, I do that every time I do, I do i always just type the first word and it doesn't work with phyrexian um the reason is i already have four copies and notice by the way it also tracks between sets i have four total copies so it didn't give me a fifth copy so if you are like me and you go to your decks and they're all down here don't hit the craft all button because the reason they're incomplete is because you already have four copies of these cards so if i type in scavenging use obviously i have four copies from when it was in standard the last time because this is a great card so I'd, i don't have it here right so that's why. So um, don't don't craft, don't hit the craft button. I know it feels weird to get free decks and then they're incomplete, but it's probably because you already have four copies. And for me, I have all the temples, I think, in all of them. That's why they're all down here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's one, oh no, ten over here. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's a problem. I have four copies of all the temples. Probably let's just do a quick little check. I can, I can do uh, temple of, and that will probably. Uh, four, um, four, yeah, I have four of all the temples already, so all of mine are incomplete, but I shouldn't craft this, I should just do this, and do this, and there we go, right, and you should do that for all your decks, is there any other missing cards, I don't think so, so, uh, yeah, just a quick note about that, you did get all the cards, it's just, uh, it didn't seem to craft a foundation edition 
of cards you had four copies of from previous sets. So if you have a lot of the lands because you play a lot, um, you might be seeing this. Um, it's the temples or in my case, some of the other cards. Um, what's the worst one? Three from this one. What are the three? We have no priest of oblivion. I love that card when it was in, uh, when it was in, yep, I have four copies of the Zendikar Rising one. Um, what else we have? Emmersturm Predator. I crafted those for the, uh, there was a, it was in a Challenger deck. And what's the last one? Oh, and then the Temple, of course. So, yeah, just be aware of that. Don't hit craft on any of these. Just swap out the old version you have. Um, kind of inconvenient, but I mean, at the end of the day, it was a ton of cards. So that's awesome. So another thing that I love about this, so if you're not familiar, a major problem that Arena has is that it's, it has the whole new player experience where it's trying to teach people how to play the game, right? It's a great introduction to Magic. The problem is the cards rotate, right? The, the cards are constantly rotating and you want to introduce people to preferably standard, but that means you have to completely revamp the new player experience every year because your cards are going to rotate and Wizards of the Coast um, solution to that, let's just go down, is they did these uh, these these decks, right? These are the new player experience decks and the problem with these, um, these are, by the way, these are what are used to teach players about the game. When you do the new player experience where it's teaching you the rules, you play with these, but the problem is these are alchemy cards, right? Because they've created the set of cards specifically for new players to learn the game with and unlock and Wizards of the Coast doesn't have to completely revamp their new player experience every couple of years. They just say, you're going to unlock these. They're alchemy cards. These are legal and alchemy. They used to be legal and standard. They're not anymore. But now that we have this set that is um, legal and standard for five years, it looks like they're going to use foundations as the new uh the new player experience here meaning they can have that role teaching game mode uh, can i even look at it can i even see the screen yeah this so this right this uses these cards and these decks and now they're going to be able to build this i got i haven't even how do i can i click can i can i look at these other decks i guess not but now they're going to be able to use the foundation cards in this and teach players with standard cards for the next five years. Awesome. Hopefully that means that new players, how do I get out of this? How do I get out? Get me out of here. How do I get out? Wait, am I, I'm, I'm stuck. Hello? Hello? It, it, ha, ha, report bug, pol account. Isn't it under account? Skip tutorial. Okay. Okay, we got it. So um, yeah, it means that they're gonna be able to teach players with foundation cards those uh, decks that they give new players, which I believe are going to be these decks we just got, um, they're going to be able to give that uh, g give these decks to players for the next five years or more. And hopefully that means they're going to start dropping new players in the standard instead of alchemy. Obviously, maybe that's hopium. I don't know. But um, either way, these are very good. I have seen people wondering if these are going to replace the starter decks. And I don't know, because if these replace the starter decks, that means we don't get new um, starter decks every year, right? I'm hoping they are replacing the monocolor decks. Cold-Blooded Killers, Aerial Domination, Keep the Peace, Large and In Charge, and uh, Goblins Everywhere. I'm hoping these five decks are going to be replaced with these ones, and then we're still going to get yearly starter decks. Because the starter deck duels game mode is going to get really boring if it's these five decks, or these ten decks, for five years, right? The point is, these decks aren't very good. Replacing them with these, much better. It could mean no more alchemy for new players. That would be amazing. And for the rest of us, I mean, this was just a ton, a, a ton of rares. I mean, can we can we do a quick check here? We can do R rare. There's only three in this one. I thought there was way more than that. Uh, R mythic. Really? This one does not have very much then. Huh. So I guess they're very different from deck to deck. R rare. Holy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. R mythic. And 1 mythic. So yeah, I guess it's very inconsistent. But it is still a ton of rares. Free rares. So you might as well claim them. And as for upgrade guides. As I said, they, they announced that these are... Uh, what did they, I forget the exact wording, 
uh, their, their test version. They are going to use the midweek magic to balance them and then they're going to release the final versions. The problem with that is I don't know if those of us who claimed the, uh, the preview version are also going to get the finished ones. If not, it means that if I do upgrade guides, everyone who claimed them early are going to have a different deck than those who claimed them late. And, well, that's awkward, isn't it? But for upgrade guides, what is this? It's a, okay. But anyway, for upgrade guides, I want to wait until the finished versions come out, which, I don't know, maybe a week or two. We'll see. They already have the midweek magic event up, so I would expect it to happen next week, maybe. Um, and once the complete finished versions are released, I'll use those to upgrade. And I don't know how that's going to work with those of us who claimed them early and... Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work, but um, either way, we'll see. I also don't know if I should upgrade these with only foundation cards, because if I upgrade them with standard cards right now, they'll rotate in a year. But if I use only foundation cards, make them like foundation constructed decks, that's going to be useful for people for the next five years. Like if you watch my guide and do the upgrade, that deck's going to be playable for five years. But either way, um, cool decks, free decks, go claim them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.